to protect, no delay, for the stone carving's sake. Nanjing, one of the four ancient capitals of China, has long been a political, economic, and cultural center of southern China. With a civil history of more than 7,000 years and an urban history of nearly 2,600 years, it was a capital of six different dynasties. Among them were the Southern Dynasty from 420 to 479, which experienced the Song, Qi, Liang, and Chen regimes. Nanjing, the capital of the Southern Dynasty, together with the ancient Roman city of the same period, was known as the center of world classic civilization. The culture of the Southern Dynasty, represented by Dian Kang, exerted a profound influence on human history. The stone carvings of the Southern Dynasty are mostly Shinto stone carvings in front of the tombs of the emperors and lords of the Southern Dynasty, which are outstanding representatives of the culture of Southern Dynasty. There are 33 stone carvings during the Southern Dynasty, the earliest dating back to about 1,500 years ago. The beauty of Nanjing stone carvings lies on the combination of carving, music, calligraphy, clothing, and so on. The philosophies, thoughts, and aesthetic attitudes of the ancients are unique to Nanjing as well as China. Although some stone carvings have been successfully protected by national museums and parks, some are scattered in the countryside, lacking proper management and care. With the rapid development of the city, those stone carvings are gradually being destroyed, and some are even disappearing. Stone carvings can speak, yet human can. We begin to take our actions. First, we use the weekends to look for and organize the scattered stone carving sites of the six dynasties. Properly arranging the visit route, measuring, recording, and taking photos. Next, we begin to sort out and select the pictures, drawing the position of the stone carvings on the map. Then attach the representative pictures to the corresponding stone carvings and finally finish the stone map. This way, after nearly four months of communication and collaboration, we found almost all the stone carvings of the Southern Dynasty in Nanjing. We also interviewed citizens at the sites to listen to their ideas. Uh In 2020 to 2021, due to COVID-19, people are going out less. Our focus shifted to online, using online meetings weekly to discuss to-do lists for the coming week. In addition, through new social media such as TikTok, Weibo, WeChat official account, WeChat moments, QQ, we spread our ideas in the school, student body clubs, and the society. Recording comments, thumbs up, replies, and other data, and make interesting and thought-provoking replies for comments, so as to establish better communication and interaction. 
With the powerful spread of the internet, more individuals took part in the activities. Our classmates, friends, and family members were interested, also attracting the official media. Nanjing Morning Post app and the Tsinghua Publishing Weibo public account followed our activities and conveyed our voices for the protection of the stone carvings. Nearly 100,000 people viewed our texts, pictures, and videos, as well as comments and shares. Carefully preparation before the plan, reasonable division of labor, efficient organization, and orderly while targeted promotion are the biggest gains of this activity, which foreshadows our future action on the protection of other cultural relics. Human civilization will never decline. As long as it is preserved and passed on, world civilization will be even more splendid. After this activity, I realized they are not just bones. Uh, they are a symbol to our ancestors and they stand for a culture. So, but now uh, they were damaged by a lot of people. So I want you guys to pay attention to these creatures. Those stone carvings previously settled under palaces and now abandoned in rural areas should be protected by both the government and normal people participating in activities like this to, in order to protect our stone carvings and our culture. We, we can learn about protecting the world and even the whole humanity's culture. After this propaganda, hope you can realize the importance of this cultural heritage around us that are gradually disappearing and start to pay attention on them, start to protect them.